So Eisen value spectrum and degeneracy. What is Eisen value spectrum and degeneracy? Uh, first, we have to know what is Eisen value spectrum. So the collection of all the Eisen value of one operator A is called the spectrum. So we have the collection of collection of all the Eisen values. So Eisen values we are getting like the uh, number we are getting that value in operator A. So there are uh, basically we are taking the two types of the spectrum. One is a discrete spectrum, another is a continuous spectrum. What is discrete spectrum? What is continuous spectrum? If the Eisen values are discrete, that means A1, A2, different different values we have taken, that is called a discrete spectrum. Continuous spectrum, what is continuous spectrum? If Eisen values are the continuous range of the values, this is the continuous continuous range of the values, uh, and this is the that was the discrete range of the values, then it is called the continuous spectrum. So this is the two types of the spectrum that is for the Eisen value. So there is a, another thing that degenerate. So what is the meaning of degenerate? If we are taking the Schrodinger equation, uh, it has more than one linear per linear independent solutions. If they, it, we are uh, we will get two different solution, linearly independent solution. They are don't uh, they are not dependent on each other. So we are, if you will get this one, this is called the degenerate. So for that things we have taken the one example for this one. Suppose you have taken the a sin x, uh, which will get uh, an sin x. So this is your operator, as in operator. So for this as in operator, I have taken the d square by dx square. So when uh, d square by dx square sin x in place of I have taken this one. So we get the an sin x. So for n is equal to zero, the solution is we get sin x. The solution is c1 e to the power n x root over of n x plus c2 uh, e n x root over of n x that is minus and this is your plus or uh, we can also get the value of c1 is equal to uh, psi 1 x and plus c2 is equal to c2 into psi 2 x. So psi 1 x is your value e to the power root n x and psi 2 x has the e to the power minus root over of minus n x. So psi 1 x here this one psi n x and, and this sin x, uh, psi x 2 psi 1 x and psi x 2 psi 2 x are linearly independent to each other. So this is your degenerate. So this is called the degenerate. So if uh, all the Eisen value functions correspond to different Eisen values, then Eisen value spectrum is non degenerate. That means uh, the Eisen functions uh, correspond to different Eisen values. So this is uh, your the non degenerate. Uh, if more than one Eisen functions, of same sign that is same sign more than one eigen functions uh, for the uh, value of a then eigen value a is said to be degenerate this is non degenerate this is degenerate the number of eigen functions generate a given eigen values to determine the degree of that eigen values the eigen functions uh, which you have taken it will generate a number of eigen values so it is called the degree of the Eisen value. Suppose uh, two value will come, that is a degree of the Eisen value is two, two. So this is the notes for this one, Eisen value and the spectrum degeneracy. Degeneracy means uh, if there is a degeneracy in the Eisen functions, how uh, suppose you have taken the Eisen function that is sin. So how we can denote it by? It is denoted by the one g. G here I have written the psi n g. That means the degeneracy of the Eisen functions. That is uh, the extra the g will be there. We have to fit.